humans have built some pretty incredible things. Washing machines now take care of our clothing, and we can even order food online directly from our fridge. A robot that knows how to cook different food. But how cool are our giant robots, y'all? From an anti-robot that could form part of a racing squad, to a Russian robot that got fired, here are 15 of the most incredible giant robots in the world. Number 15. Mark II Robot Robot lovers and creators were well and truly in their element back in January 2015. Megabots partnered up with Autodesk and asked robot makers to create something extra special. But there was a catch. They had to design the armor paneling of miniature Megabots to show what a final walking robot would look like. It also had to have a reloading left arm cannon and would be shown off at the Maker Fair. The results were amazing. The creators took the torso, shell, and right arm of a Megabot Mark II robot and turned it into a full-scale, 6-ton, 15-foot-tall robot. It wasn't just there to look pretty, either. It could drive, stand, fire weapons from both arms, and even twist its torso. When shown off at the Maker Fair, the Mark II robot was a hit. It fired paintball cannons at old cars and astounded crowds with its size and power. The creators of the robot were over the moon with how it turned out. They had been working countless hours to bring the robot to life and say it's roughly the same size and weight as what their final product will be. Before we go on, we have a cool challenge for y'all. It'll take about five seconds to complete. Uh, let's make a deal. Just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 10 years of amazing luck and fortune. Try it. It actually works. Number 14. Robot Method 2 in 2017, Jeff Bezos got to play with a very expensive robot at Amazon's annual robotics conference. That very expensive robot was the Method 2, and it means business. It was developed and created by Hankook Murray Technology, a firm from South Korea, and it weighs a whopping 1.6 ton. If that's not eyebrow raising enough, then maybe its price tag will be. It started off costing around $3.96 million, but the budget is well and truly blown out at around $100 million. To be honest though, we can see why it's so expensive. It can walk, rotate in a circle, and is controlled remotely by robot engineers. But that's not all. It is the first manned bipedal robot that can move 1.5 tons while managing the pilot's movements. That means that if, for example, the pilot moves his or her arm, the robot will as well. Some refinement needs to happen before this robot will be let loose on a community. Right now, it walks around like a toddler before it tumbles, so it has to be suspended from cables while out in public. Number 13. The Prosthesis Okay, so we're stretching the truth a little bit here. The prosthesis isn't a robot, but it's pretty similar to one and probably equally as smart. The prosthesis is what you'd call an anti-robot. It has room for a human inside it, and that human is responsible for all the robot's movements. But that doesn't mean it can't do anything cool. It can tackle all types of terrain at top speeds of around 20 miles per hour, and its electric battery is large enough to power it for up to two hours. That's two hours of hanging out in a robot. Yes, please. It has a custom suspension system for a smooth ride, and it's a whopping 16.4 feet wide and 13.7 feet tall. It also weighs over 8,000 pounds. The company behind Prosthesis is called Furion, and they have big plans. They not only want to build these exobionic mechs, but race them. It won't be too long until we've got a whole racing track filled with robots battling it out for the top spot, and maybe even some to get to and from work and school. Number 12. Fedor. 
It was a sad day back in September 2019 when Russia's charming robot called Fedor was fired. Rolling around. Fedor had been built to replace astronauts on spacewalks. As it turns out though, humans are just better at some things than robots ever will be. Fedor, which stands for Final Experimental Demonstration Object Research, was a helping hand for space station astronauts, but he ended up being more of a hindrance. While he appeared cute enough standing on the station with a Russian flag and hugging cosmonauts who were there to train him, he just hadn't been refined enough. His legs were too long for spacewalking, and his overall six-foot height posed a problem. His legs ended up being immobilized for the trip into space, and his hands couldn't grab station handrails. His mobility wasn't too flash either. He needed support to stand up, and he was shaking while holding a drill. In saying that, the robot was one small step for robot kind. Russia still hopes to be the first country to send a robot on a spacewalk. Number 11. Titan the Robot Around a decade ago, most people would have heard of Titan Robot. I am Titan the Robot! And if you didn't, well, you have now. Titan the Robot, which also went by the name of Gytex the Robot, was created in 2004 by a British company called Cyberstein Robots. Now, that's nothing special or unique, everyone's building robots. The point of difference for Titan is that his motions were so fluid and he seemed so much more advanced than any other robot. Surely, the company had spent millions getting their robot as lifelike as he was. Or did they? As it turns out, Titan the robot was a person all along. Well, he was an android in a physical sense, but was being manipulated from the inside by a human. Who would have thunk it? Titan stood at 7 feet 3 inches tall and weighed a mere 103 pounds. He has his own YouTube channel with over 8,000 subscribers and shows off in various settings like X Factor. While it's disappointing to learn that Titan wasn't a real robot, that doesn't mean he never will be. Five versions were created with human drivers, but the company hopes to create a sixth and seventh version of Titan without a driver. It would be completely autonomous, so fingers crossed that happens. Number 10. Landwalker. In 2005, companies were really starting to sink their teeth into the robot scene. Then, by May of that year, Japanese robotics and machinery company Sakakabara Kakai took it to the next level. They became the first company to produce and release a bipedal exoskeleton. Before then, they had only been the subject of science fiction, such as on shows like Robocop and Star Wars. But later, the Landwalker was born. The Landwalker stood at over 11 feet high and weighed 2,200 pounds. He was clearly no small fry. But the name Landwalker is perhaps a little exaggerated. Sure, he walked, but not very fast. He could only manage under a mile an hour. What he lacks in walking, he makes up for in shooting. The Landwalker was built with a gun mounted on each side and could shoot rubber balls. In saying that, a faster motor than its 250cc four-stroke one could see the Landwalker speed up in both its shooting and walking movements. Not only was the Landwalker the greatest invention of the time, but it was also one that many people could enjoy. If you wanted to own one, it was yours for about $345,000. Number 9. The Walking Beast by Molten Steel Man Have you ever attended a friend's party or event and panicked that you could never outdo them on your own special occasion? They may have hired a DJ, a flamethrower, or even a clown. How about you hire a giant robot and take everyone on a thrill ride? Martin Montesano from Oregon was inspired by Ohio State University's adaptive suspension vehicle back in 1984 and got an idea in his head that he wanted to do something similar. While he let the idea go, he picked it back up again in 2004 and spent three years building the walking beast. And boy, it was something spectacular. Martin spent $50,000 and $6,000 hours on cutting, wiring, and building the walker. It weighed 7 tons 
Bronze stood at 11 feet tall and was a whopping 24 feet long and 8 feet wide. It walks on 4 legs and has been clocked at speeds of up to 6 miles per hour. Okay, so it's no Usain Bolt, but it's pretty clever. The cockpit can seat 2, and there's a deck on the back to house 7 passengers. The party gets started when the string of LED lighting lights up and the robot whips out its flamethrowers. As of 2016, The Walking Beast is available for hire. And as of 2012, Martin was working on a new six-legged hexapod. Number 8. The Kabutom RX-03 Japan is pretty good at building robots, there's no denying that, but they can often be quite clunky, cost a fortune to create, and still have a lot of flaws to iron out that seem to take years. That's what makes the Kabutom RX-03 just that little bit extra special. It is a fully functioning robot that was built on a budget, and by a 60-year-old tech whiz called Hitoshi Takahashi. Hitoshi started building the robot, which is in the shape of a rhinoceros beetle, back in 1997 as a hobby. He then showed it off to the public on a popular TV show in 2008. The general public was amazed at the giant beetle. It was 36 feet long, weighed 17 tons, and walked on six legs while blowing smoke from its nose. Doesn't get much more impressive than that. Ever since its grand entrance into the world, Hitoshi and his robot have been popping up at events all over the country. What makes it extra special is that it looks exactly like a beetle and even scuttles similarly to one. Number 7. Super Godzilla Robot the world is full of robots, and sadly, many of them have replaced people in various industries. But this robot from Taguchi International works hand-in-hand -hand with humans to make their lives easier. Known as the Super Godzilla, it is a piece of heavy-duty construction equipment with giant metal claws. It has a seat for someone to sit on, giant monster truck tires, and a solid-as-a-rock body to ensure it can handle everything. So, what's this robot for? Well, Taguchi International creates heavy-duty construction equipment first and foremost, and many of their machines have the same claws that feature on Super Godzilla. The difference is that this machine is made to handle the harsh and tricky terrain that often exists after a significant natural event like an earthquake. Whoever's tasked with the cleanup job can hop into the comfortable seat of the Godzilla, move a few controls, and have the giant pincers move rubble around while driving over it with ease. This giant concrete crushing machine is gonna take the removal and demolition market by storm. And who knows what the company will think of next. Number 6. The Wired Mech The Wired Mech looks like a costume you would wear to a fancy dress party. In fact, it even looks like something you could whip up from scrap parts in your garage. But there's much, much more to this Wired Mech than meets the eye. Legacy Effects and the Stan Winston Studio were not quite sure what they were doing. They wanted to build something that would mirror the driver's movements, but they didn't even know that it was possible. As it turns out, it was. They reverse-engineered some Japanese mech technology, used a skeleton extending parallelogram design, and created something that could mimic human movements without hydraulics or motors. That's nothing short of a miracle. If you're driving the suit and shake your fist, the robot will shake its fist. If you move your arm up or down, the wired mech will move its arm up or down. While it might not look like there's a lot to this costume or robot, there has been hundreds of hours spent on behind-the-scenes mechanical movements to make this a robot that's well and truly ahead of its time. Number 5. Monkey King most people accepted the fact long ago that robot fighting would only ever be a thing in science fiction movies and children's cartoons. It was sad, but how on earth would technology ever exist to see it happen in person? Well, somehow, it has finally arrived, and robot fighting is actually a thing. Back in 2017, a Chinese company called Great Metal released a robot prototype at the Global Mobile Internet Conference in Beijing called Monkey King. 
with what looks like inspiration from Transformers. The Monkey King can move on four legs or two and has a giant metal bar for fighting its opponents. The Monkey King is amazing on its own, but can you imagine it in the battle ring? Imagine no more. This robot joined at least two others in the first ever Megabots Giant Fighting Robot Sports League. The aim was to create a sport similar to UFC but featuring robots. It seems like the idea is taking off, for Robo Race is already a thing. Robots racing on a track rather than punching each other's literal lights out in a fighting ring. Number 4. Kuradas. If your parents have been asking you what you want for your birthday or Christmas, then how about a new toy? But not just any toy. A $1.35 million robot with rocket launchers in its shoulder pads and machine guns in its arms. The 13-foot-tall robot, known as Karatas, was built by the Suidobashi Heavy Industry. It took two years to bring Karatas to life and the man behind the robot, Kogor Karada, calls it an art piece. But is it art when it has rocket launchers and machine guns? We'd be more likely to call it a killing machine. According to the creator, though, it's a lot tamer than it looks. The rocket launchers have fireworks, and the guns are just BB guns. That's not all that's exciting about this giant robot, either. It has 30 joints to offer a full range of motion, and can even pick things up with its humanoid fingers. It also moves at around 6 miles per hour on its four wheels. So, if you're yet to decide what you want for your birthday or Christmas, well, now you know. Hey, Mom, Dad, have you got a spare $1.35 million? Number 3. Mark 3. Robots fighting. We thought we'd heard of everything. It seems absurd, but it's a real thing. And Mark 3 is proof of that. We're building up 4,000 PSI. Mark 3 is a 12 ton, 430 horsepower robot that is set to tackle Japan's Megabot. It was released at the Maker Fair, and while it had a few hiccups, was otherwise a success. It threw a punch, and most of its bugs were ironed out early on. As the Megabot CEO says, though, it's called Maker Fair, not Done Fair, which means that everything on display at the robotic themed event is a work in progress. Mark III is no exception, but pretty considerable headway has been made to make it look and act like something out of a science fiction film. It has American colors of red, white, and blue, and an eagle on its shoulder. It's also quite fast, moving at around 12.5 miles per hour, more than double many other robots released to date. While its weapons are not at their best just yet, it's only a matter of time before the Mark III will be fit to fight at 100%. Number 2. Latron BMW E92 Real Transformers. We thought this day would never come, but it did, and back in 2016. <laughs> Oh, we've missed so much. Finally, a real-life Transformer, and one that looks entirely normal on the surface before turning into a giant robot. It's every child's dream come true. One minute, you see a red BMW E92, and the next, you see a giant red robot with a 120-degree moving head, heavy motors, powerful hydraulics, and extendable side wings. The robot even has hands, wrists, and fingers. This Transformer is called the Latron BMW E92 Real Transformer, and it's clear to see that Latron spent a lot of time making this robot. We don't know if it functions like a real car, but it certainly works as a robot. The two side panels move out to form the robot's wings, while the body of the car launches up into the air to develop the chest area of the robot. The head sits above that, and the legs are folded down inside the vehicle when not in use. We're not gonna lie, we want one of these badly. Number 1. Mantis have you ever been bored on public transport or even tired of driving your own car? Well, get a walking robot and spice things up. The Mantis is the creation of Matt Denton from Micro Magic Systems, and it is a giant robot that's out of this world. It weighs over 4,000 pounds, stands at over 9 feet tall, 
and is powered by a 2.2 liter turbo diesel Perkins engine with a complex hydraulic system. But that's not all. With a range of sensors, the Mantis can scuttle along at a generous pace, and it can handle all manner of terrain you throw at it. The best part about the Mantis is that it has an area for a passenger. You can wake up in the morning, get dressed, and instead of hopping into your car to go to work or school, hop into your robot and scuttle down the sidewalk. Move over, e-scooters. There's a new cool kid on the block. But as it turns out, Micro Magic Systems is no stranger to hexapod creations or even animatronics. They built a six-legged turtle that was used in the Harry Potter films and many other cool creations for TV and movies. Many of us predicted flying cars by the time 2020 rolled around, but it looks like we're taking it one step further. Giant robots could be roaming our streets any day now. Have you tried to build a robot before, and have you seen any of these in person? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!